How big is the universe? Where does it begin and how far does it go? These are questions that we have surely asked ourselves at some point in our lives without ever having a concrete answer. The distances in the cosmos are exaggeratedly incredible, so much so that they are escaping our logical comprehension. Thanks to the current advanced technology in astronomical matters, we can get a tiny idea of all the distances and sizes that some impressive objects in the cosmos can reach, making it an endless place where only the most extensive imagination could describe. In spite of not having a solid answer about the size of the universe, some scientists think that there could exist an infinity of universes outside our own with unique characteristics and governed by their own laws, as well as beings that we would never expect to observe even in the depths of our imagination. What we are sure of is the size of the objects that abound in our universe and recently NASA scientists, with the help of our legendary James Webb telescope, have discovered the most gigantic structure ever discovered. So stay with us to discover this new discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope and remember to like and subscribe, it helps us a lot. To give you an idea of the colossal objects and structures that abound in the cosmos, it is necessary to start at the beginning. Our moon measures approximately 3,474 kilometers in diameter, but it is a small sphere compared to our planet Earth, which has a diameter of 12,742 kilometers. If we compare it with the largest planet in our solar system, it would look like a ping pong ball in front of a soccer ball which would be Jupiter, with a diameter of approximately 400,000 kilometers. Now, let's compare Jupiter with the largest planet in the known universe, HD 10546b, a gigantic planet seven times larger than Jupiter, with a total diameter of 986,000 kilometers. You can imagine what Earth would look like near this cosmic monster, can't you? However, Although the latter has the title of the most gigantic planet in the universe, it cannot compare with the size of our sun of about 1,392 million kilometers. Even our sun would also look small if we compare it with the largest star in the universe. This is Stevenson 218, a red supergiant of about 9,000 million kilometers, which looks like this in front of our star something really spectacular. Not everything ends here. This star cannot be compared with the most massive black hole in our cosmos, the Ton 618, an incredible object that has approximately 600 billion solar masses and a diameter of 390 billion kilometers. For now, we will stop measuring in kilometers and start measuring in light years. If you thought, the largest black hole in the universe was spectacular, it cannot compare with the enormous size of the Tarantula Nebula, which is the most gigantic nebula in the vast universe, with a diameter approximately of 1,862 light years. It is dwarfed by the size of our galaxy, which spans some 105,700 light years. Much to our chagrin. It is dwarfed by the IC 1101, which spent 6 million light years, making it the most gigantic galaxy in the entire universe. Plunging into the vastness of space, there are even more colossal objects that could degrade the largest galaxy in the cosmos. Here is the great void of Eridanius, a region of the universe in which there are no galaxies or any known object and measures the exorbitant figure of 1800 million light years. However, this object is small compared to the Great Wall of Hercules Corona Borealis, with 10 billion light years in diameter, or what would be 11% of the observable universe. Although some specialists claim that this is the largest object or structure in the known universe, there are those who do not overlook the most monstrous object in the cosmos, the universe of fabric or cosmic web, with approximately the entire magnitude of the observable universe. This object has been recreated by computer from a rigorous scientific study 
resulting in the impressive image you see on screen, where everything seems to be connected as a kind of neutral system, giving life to a biological entity, and perhaps the universe in which we live is a kind of intelligent life. A team of scientists from the University of Bologna has compared two of the most complex systems in nature, the neural network of our brain and the cosmic web of galaxies in the universe. What did they discover? That they are incredibly similar. And not just as they look if we compare a human neuron with a cluster of galaxies. There's more. The study, which aimed to look beyond the visual similarities between the human brain and the cosmic web, the structure of filaments, nodes, and voids that form galaxies, do the two have a deeper connection? A priori, neurons and galaxies are very different, but this research published in the Journal Frontiers in Physics suggests that they are shaped by similar underlying principles. Thus, it is not that our brain is like a universe or that the universe is a brain of titanic proportions, but that their dynamics are similar. Within both systems, only 30% of the masses are composed of galaxies and neurons. In both, galaxies and neurons are organized in long filaments and nodes between filaments. Finally, within both systems, 70% of the mass or energy distribution is composed of components that play an apparently passive role, water in the brain and dark energy in the observable universe. Despite having a scale difference of approximately seven times orders of magnitude, the brain and the cosmic web composition show similar levels of complexity and self-organization. Our analysis showed that the distribution of fluctuation within the neutral network of the cerebellum on a scale of 1 micrometer to 0.1 millimeters follows the same progression as the distribution of matter in the cosmic web commented one of the researchers in charge of this project. When we hear that everything is connected and that we are all influenced by each other, it probably has a lot to do with what you have just heard. The actions we take and the actions we don't take create destiny and reality. Together we form a universal system that flows endlessly. In fact, that is why it's called the universe, because together we form a unity the idea that everything is connected and that our actions have an impact on the world around us is a concept deeply rooted in many philosophies, spiritual beliefs, and systems of thought. This notion reflects the interconnectedness of all beings and phenomena in the universe and can be found in various cultures throughout history. The idea that everything is connected and that our actions have an impact on the world around us is a concept deeply rooted in many philosophies, spiritual beliefs, and systems of thought. This notion reflects the interconnectedness of all beings and phenomena in the universe and can be found in various cultures throughout history. The idea that everything is connected is based on the premise that we live in an interdependent universe where every action and choice we make has an effect on the every fabric of reality. This implies that our individual decisions, whether large or small, contribute to the development and evolution of the world as a whole. If we make conscious and positive choices, we can contribute to positive change in our own lives and in the lives of others. The notion that we are part of a universal system aligns with the idea that all beings and objects in the universe are connected in a complex web of relationships. From a scientific perspective, this can be seen in the interplay of physical forces and natural laws that govern the workings of the cosmos. From a more spiritual or philosophical perspective, this implies that our individual lives are intertwined and intricately connected, and our actions have consequences that extend beyond what we can directly perceive. In short, the idea that everything is connected and that we form a universal system invites us to be aware of our choices and actions, recognizing that our destiny and the reality we experience are influenced by our active participation in this interconnected web. This can inspire us to make more informed and responsive decisions, 
contributing to a better and more harmonious world for all. Thank you very much for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe to not miss more content like this. We say goodbye and see you in the next video.